Spencer, and I'm a site reliability engineer at Casper. For most customers, their last interaction with Casper when they're ordering is like the place order button. Um, they'll hit that button and then they'll get an email. Um, and then from, from their point of view, that's kind of all that happens a couple days later or maybe that same day a mattress shows up on their doorstep or whatever they ordered. Behind the scenes, there's a lot of magic going on. A lot of the meat of our business is really our fulfillment systems that are handling, you know, shipping out thousands of mattresses and all these orders every day all over the world. So in New York City, for instance, we have same day courier. So you can order your, order your mattress and get it that exact same day. And we offer that in a couple other cities around the US. But, you know, let's say for instance, even if there's a, a customer living in the North Pole, which actually happened once and they want a mattress, we will do everything it takes to get that mattress there. And if that means hiring a single prop plane and then getting a dog sled team to carry that mattress to that person's front door, which actually did happen once, we will do that. If they had returned it, that would have been pretty unfortunate, but thankfully they liked it and kept it. Our biggest day of the year is Cyber Monday. On Cyber Monday, we have a lot of traffic to Casper.com. People are you know, checking out the products, um, there's a discount code that they'll probably use and then they're, they're checking out. So for them, you know, come end of Monday, that's kind of the end of that front end side of things. But the real magic happens on the Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday after Cyber Monday or after any of the, these big holiday events. And so as our operations team are trying to fulfill all these orders, we are also releasing new features on our, on our website, releasing new features in our uh, fulfillment management system. And so we need to make sure that along that process, none of our uh, shipment batches that we're dropping to warehouses get stopped in any way. We used to be on a, on a different cloud provider that wasn't AWS, um, and we had very little visibility into the deployment of our applications and what actually happened when we sent out a new version. Um, but since moving to AWS, we've been able to fine tune that whole process to our business needs. And so what we do with auto scaling lifecycle hooks is we say, if there is a batch running, we're gonna, we're gonna save that process and let it keep running while at the same time pushing out the rest of the engineer's code. And the greatest thing about all that is that it was trivial to implement. You know, it took us maybe a couple days and we added this, you know, new feature for our engineering team that made their lives a lot easier. Mm -hmm.